New York City, a place that knows how to celebrate Christmas, starting with one of the biggest Christmas trees I've ever seen in Rockefeller Center, which when they light it up looks like this. Wow. Along with that are the store window lights that are everywhere along Fifth Avenue and just everywhere. Look at these, oh my gosh. And then here I am taking a picture with an angel. Ooh. There are like tons of these, they're beautiful. Then we went to have dinner at Tavern on the Green in Central Park, which was beautiful. What's up everybody, it's Missy Barra. Today we're gonna to make a poinsettia votive holder or a bowl if you right. want to. And so I'm gonna start from the middle. And I need four and four to make eight pieces, right? So I'm gonna do one, two, three cuts on each one middle here and that makes four pieces see so one two three four and here all right now i'm going to roll these all into small spheres so that they can go, and I'm going to wedge each one. So I'll show you what, what wedging is. So we got three vocabulary words. We got wedge, slip, and score. So we can use all those in this technique while doing some sculpture. That's another vocabulary word, sculpture. Okay, so I'm gonna wedge, 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 wedge. Now, I do it separately because you can do it all together, but then air gets in. So now we're going to make the base, okay? So I'm gonna make the base, and I'm just gonna take this, put it between my two palms, and squish it down. Now I think this is where I'm gonna put my little, you know, center candle. If you wanna make that, it could just be a bowl too. Okay, so all right, now I'm going to score so I'm gonna do a little slip, which just adding some water and then score, which adding some lines. Okay, and they can go crisscross or fun. Either one is fine, okay? So now I am going to add my leaves. So I'm gonna push and then pinch very gently, okay? And I do it on both sides. I'm gonna go ahead and do that kind of quick for you and then I'll show you what's next. All right, I've made all my leaf shapes and now I'm going to take just a stylus or a pointy object, could be even a pencil, and just make some lines like a leaf because a poinsettia is just a bunch of leaves that don't get photosynthesis so they don't turn green anymore. So they might turn red or pink or white and yeah, so I'm making my leaf shapes. Okay, so now I'm going to slip and score all of my leaves right about here. Because what I'm gonna do, let me show you real quick, is I'm going to attach all of this together to make a flower like this, or a poinsettia, right? And that has to all stick together on this back. So I'm gonna flip this over so this is on this side and the scoring is on this side, okay? Um, white clay, you want to let it dry for two weeks before you put it in the kiln. Okay, but it looks really nice. I like it. I'm also going to go in the back and just kind of mold everything together without smushing anything. Okay. It's just a little added security to make sure it doesn't fall apart later. And I'm going to add my name. If your teacher wants to do that, because she can read her writing better, then that's a good idea. Okay, all right, so we'll see how this goes, and I'll see you in a minute. I put my clay in a bowl so it gets that shape, and I also put it out in the sun so it can dry overnight. Once it was dry, I went ahead and painted it red, but I could paint it white or pink. I used metallic paints, and it was looking pretty good. 
All right, I'm finished and it looks really pretty. And I'm gonna put a little votive candle here and maybe make another one to have on each side of my mantle. Uh, the paints I used were metallic, so I'll put these in the description. And I hope you have a fun time. I'll talk to you later, bye-bye.